Welcome back, everybody, for some more Nagi Lajos. And uh, apparently this is how you spell Suzerity. I, I always thought it was Suzerity. But uh, the more you learn. And this one's actually going to be like seven years afterward. And uh, I guess we're going back to the Balkans, and it is going to be another three-sword difficulty campaign. So, oh boy, let's go. Uh, the Hungarians have successfully extended the length of the coastline. What a powerful blow uh, for the domination of half of the ocean by this thalassocracy for centuries. For a uh, course to teach them, they are not the only ones who know how to rule the ocean. A little happiness brought uh, by the victory over the Venetians to us. In other words, not worth to mention. Uh, <laughs> the Venetians just simply relied on the superiority of sea and manipulation of money for dominating the Mediterranean. Those mercenaries with the sharp swords will only be obsessed and demersed by the scent of gold coins and will never learn how to expand the territory for their employers. When the treaty was signed by the adversaries, uh, adversaries of the city-states, uh, King Louis had no more time to worry about Venice's affairs. He immediately rode to the other side of Hungary, the Balkans, to fulfill his father's unfulfilled, long-cherished wish. No more time uh, we waste on the border between Hungary and Venice. While we uh, fought fiercely against the Venetians and Italian and anti-pope rebellions, those small principalities around the Balkans blew the horn of struggle resounding almost across the Balkan mountains. Wallachia, Moldova, uh, and Bosnia were once vassals that bowed their knees to the Hungarian crown. Groups of young wolves are not to be un underestimated. Once you let them grow, they will soon become the hunter and hunt you down. Bloodshed, bloodshed, the endless bloodshed. Alrighty. Alrighty, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Transylvanians, charge! I guess, yeah, we already got the Transylvanians in the first scenario. Uh, there's Moldavia. Um. Is there... Oh! Oh! Uh, Nicholas the First of Garai. Whoa, 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 hold on. What's going on here? Uh, destroy all fortified towers before the timer ends. Uh, conquer the Balkan region by destroying all of the Wallachian and Moldavian fortified towers. Uh, and the Bosnian towers. Uh, prevent Transylvania from being defeated. Each fortified tower destroyed will extend the countdown. Normal... 100 units? What? Okay. Uh, initially, okay, so we are in the Imperial Age. Uh, the mountains of the Balkans have separated the Hungarian armies towards the Balkans. They completely access each other once one side of the battlefield has been conquered by the Hungarians. You and your ally, as well as your opponents, all have equal resources initially. Invest them wisely for troops and technologies you need for your battlefield strategies. Each fortified tower you and your ally destroy surrounding buildings except the main ones and your opponent's spaces will be automatically converted to yours or your allies. Meantime, 100 units of countdown will be increased uh, for each Cala Calaspian. Uh, be prepared and powerful. Deploy and form an unstoppable army and stuff. Uh, okay. Uh, Hungarian army. Um, Transylvanians have set up their camp and to assist Lewis's army with cavalry, pikemen, and rams. Uh, Wallachia is under the rule of Vladislav I. Um, he leads his proud Konics and stuff. Uh, Moldav Moldavia is under Bogdan's rule, and independent from Hungary, uprising led by him. This is pre-Dracula. Um, his army has lots of stuff, and the Bosnians are led by... Seriously, you only have one vowel, and that's at the end? Where's the vowel? <laughs> oh, man, and they got stuff as well. Okay. So it looks like they got that. Or... Wait, but I have stuff here. Um. Ain't no wolf gonna stop me. Um, okay. Guess we'll do that. 
I mean, we have full 200 pop post temp. Better get going. And we have a timer. Oh, it's one of those, we reach the Imperial Age, but we only have Feudal Age upgrades. Lovely. Oh, but we do have a ton of resources. Um, okay, so obviously a lot of stuff to consider right now. The Transylvanians are Magyars as well, naturally. Wakia is Bulgarians, the Bosnians are Slavs, and Moldavia is also Slavs. I guess there's like a main tower somewhere. Uh, I don't know, take the goat. Like, how capable are we of taking this stuff down? Uh, so Cyan is in Castle Age, whereas Yellow is in Imperial Age. Blue is in Imperial Age, and so is Green. Egum. Ah, so much to do! Go get him. Okay, there's some more gold. So many idols and a scratching corgi! to have a corgi. Ugh. I have a castle, right? Uh, okay, let's get some tribes going. We're gonna need that. Okay, looks like they are mobilizing. Uh, we'll try and coordinate our attack with them. Get some more of that for now. Get that. Okay, that, that. Egam. Go get him. Um, there is some stone over here, so... I hadn't seen any before, so I was wondering if we'd just have to make do without. Okay, 723. Okay, Cavalier... Okay, I get these buildings, that's nice. Oh, come on, get the tower, get the goddamn tower. There you go. Uh, I guess I might as well get you and you. Gotta keep going. As they said, the enemies have lots of resources, because we do as well. Okay, get going there. Get some houses.
Yeah, Cyan's only in Castle Age, the Bosnians. So, I think we will be able to take them just with having uh, way superior upgrades. Because at least we're like kind of with imp stuff. Some imp upgrades. Okay. Keep on keeping on. Get that. Can't hurt. Oh, I am uh, missing a university. That's relevant. Chemistry. Siege engineers. So a bit of a better eco. Wait, there we go. Here we are. Throwing axemen. They're not Franks. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, we don't even have ballistics. Dang it. We have this. Never had a mining camp. Cyan is now in Le Imperial Age. Little bit away. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of gold. Okay, that seems to be a river of some kind. I don't know what river that is. How are you guys doing? Half the Bosnian forward uh, towers have been captured. How can their so-called formidable army stop our offensive? You bet. Uh, I mean, their ships are a little bit annoying, but, you know, such is life. You. I mean, really, this is all just about sniping towers. Let's see if we can do it from this side of the river so we don't have to go through the castle. Interesting that we're just, like, combining the divide and conquer sort of scenario style with, uh, you know, the timer. You know, you have to defeat the enemy horses, and in this case, destroy their towers before the timer elapses. Pretty cool. But yeah. These guys ain't got nothing. Oh god. I might have lied a little bit. Just a little bit. Come on. Aw, oh, damn it. Well, there's my typical cockiness. I feel like, yeah, so long as Moldavia's being held at bay, 
We're gonna clear this side and then swing over back towards, uh... Oh, of course they... Uh, auto heal. But yeah, uh, since we... I'm pretty sure they said we do get to meet up our armies eventually. Then we'll head over to, uh, Romania. I haven't really seen much from Malakia. Ah! Okay, yeah, it looks like we got... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. So is that all of the Bosnian forces or just the Cyan ones? I do not know. Oh, there's a relic right there. That. But yeah, ain't no way they're gonna be able to compete with our army efficiency. Got Paladin plus uh, Magyar or Heavy Cav Archer. Just need a few Siege Engineer Trebs to cut through the uh, towers and then we're uh, good to go. You guys doing all right? More trebs. Ah, stop it. Only one Bosnian tower remains. Where is it? Oh, it's all the way over there. I guess I still have to chop my way through this city. Those trebs are so almost dead. Scout a bit. Got him. I'm too sure what the difference is between the two Bosnian factions, other than that Cyan was uh, a little bit weaker. Okay, so gotta cross back over the where the weaver. You No 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 Oh god damn it. Get some rams in, why not? Balkans have no choice but to submit to Hungarian rule.
All right, now is where I'm going to assume that we can still make it out east. Yeah, sure, get the relic, why not? There we go. Oh boy. Please tell me. Okay, well there's a Koenig. Okay, so this seems fine. Okay, that's less than fine. Get marginally better lumber camps. I mean, this is where Mad Gear is going to excel, right? As long as I have some melee units, where the hell are they? Oh. Crap. Okay, those SOs, they're a little bit scary, not gonna lie. But we're still A-OK. -okay. Onward and upward and all that. Does Moldavia only, or sorry, uh, Wal okay, no, Wallachia has that tower, even though it's right next to Moldavia. Wait, what destroyed that? Oh my god, that's, uh, not so great. Well, I just need like more buildings here at the front lines, especially for like treb production. Uh, se seems like the Lockians, Moldavians are at a loss to deal with us. Haha. -ha. Monastery somewhere? Doesn't seem like it. Did I just lose a trebuchet like that? That would be dumb of me. Yeah, I guess we should be pushing up this way. Oh, 
see what Moldavia's up to. Wait, what does orange do? I just realized. They're just Balkans. As my reinforcements come from frickin' halfway across the map. The Balkans will soon be forced to submit to as long as the last towers are taken down. Well, there's only one more left, and it's over here. Eh, maybe the Transylvanians will help us out a bit, too. Alright, there it's Wallachia. I don't know, build some stables or something. I lose a trebuchet randomly over here. Okay. And the winner is... me! Now the Balkans will realize who will be the real ruler of these lands. Mwahahaha. Well, I mean, I guess that one wasn't technically super fast, but I mean, it felt very fast-paced, you know, very frantic. Nice, honestly, a nice little bit of a change of pace from all of the very long scenarios we've been playing. Uh, the fires of war grew again in the mountains of the Balkans. Those small Balkan principalities simply alike were unmatched for our Hungarian army. I felt we were already invincible, but King Louis is a cautious man. He knew it is definitely it definitely was a decisive victory, and the uh, adversaries cannot be underestimated. His father's long-cherished wish uh, had been fulfilled just partially. The principalities in the Balkans still disobey my king's suzerainty and struggle for a permanent, uh, for a permanent refuse of bowing their knees. Oh boy, look at that, KD. Mm mm mm. Yeah, looks like the Transylvanians took a bit of a beating for us, but uh, they did what they needed to do. So what was orange? Do I... Do I want to know what this is about? I don't think I want to know what this is about. Bunch of horses <laughs> all surrounding a relic. It probably has something to do with, like, the victory timer or whatever. There's another relic over here that could have been taken. But seriously, am I missing something? Where was orange? Let me know in the comments where, where the hell orange was, because I don't know where they were. But yeah, fun snare. Alrighty, guys, that was Suzerainty of the Balkans. And next up will be the Shield of Christ. See you guys next time for that one.